three years ago, Pete Cantu, who is one of our Capernaum staff, brought up a young woman named Corin, who's autistic. And when you see her, it, it's, it's the classic, okay, there can't be anything there. She, you know, mannerisms, noises, grunts, everything. She has this little typing machine where, where her sister helps her and she types out these messages. And she typed out this message and whatever we might have thought looking at the outside, it was this beautiful, clear, articulate, incredibly intelligent communication to us of her appreciation of who God is, what she loves about the camp, but thank you that you are reaching out to people like me. I'm still learning about the appearance thing, that what you see is not, usually not what is. And so there's a beautiful woman inside of a body, inside of a central nervous system that's not working correctly. She's there, you know, and God help us to take the time to know. Hello, I am Corin Henning. I'm 28 and I'm autistic. I am severely disabled as I can't speak or decently care for myself. I have zany, odd behaviors that show the dastardly, awful, sad days I face. I really want to have friends, but my disastrous body makes creative friendship nearly sadly gone from my dreams. I was trapped in my body and couldn't communicate with my family for 16 years, yet I could communicate with God. When I was a child, awesome God showed himself to me very often. I saw God sweetly bright and shining, awesomely brilliantly white. When awesome God allowed me to see that he was Jesus, I accepted him as my savior. I asked him to allow me to speak, but treasured great God saw differently. I was sadly wanting a free, sweet life, but amazing great God wanted me awkwardly to seem retarded to others and to keep me quite dependent on my caring family. This made me feel angry and sad and very helpless. Then my dear teacher changed my life. She showed me that I could speak by simply giving resistance to my hand so I could have control enough to freely point to what I wanted to. Sadly, I was so reasonably angry inside that creatively I typed swear words and bad things at first. Awesome God forgave me and let me enter high school as a real freshman and take real courses. Really, I was excited to finally seem greatly intelligent by assertedly treasured teachers and staff. I was thrilled to graduate from high school with honors. Few people are seeing me now as I really am, an intelligent, reasonable woman. Please say hello to me when you see me, but when I act awkwardly, understand that I want desperately to react well but my body betrays me. I think Capernaum is about people saying, we have faith in you and in God, and we're gonna listen. We're gonna take you seriously. You're not an accident. You're a miracle of God. What do you wanna say? We'll stay here and listen.